This episode of The Fit Life is brought to you by The Stat Fitness Station. The station is a convenient travel case designed with those individuals in mind who are trying to live a healthier lifestyle. Keeps everything you need right at your fingertips in a convenient case. Go pick one up today by visiting statfitness.com. That's stat, S-T-A-T, fitness.com. You are listening to The Fit Life with Jay and Justice. All right, all right, all right. Welcome back, everyone. Got your girl Justice with you and Jay for the Fit Live. Holla. Wanted to thank, 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 thank everyone who tuned in and listened to the last episode. We're so, so surprised at the numbers that that was actually getting. Like, like I said, I mainly the my main podcast is Say What Radio, so that's the one I follow. Um, you know, stats and everything on the most. This is just kind of like something I was doing to try something different. And I just fell in love with it, just like I did with Say What Radio. And the love that you guys are showing uh, it and the show is just phenomenal. And just have to thank you guys so, so, so much for that. So, so what, what are the numbers? What are, what are the numbers? Cause I don't think, you no, know, I think I was, I was half asleep when you like, sent me so i kind of understood but not fully understood well, like this of course you know since we actually do record this this podcast say where radio's live but we do record this one so the numbers will probably be a little different by the time this uh episode premieres so at this time which is about a few days after the last one was premiered we were at 400 listens and it's just crazy considering wow We've done very little promotion for it and everything. It's just word of mouth. And that's that's, that's phenomenal. That is crazy. Yeah. So, Four honey. Four and you know, honey. that may not be, you know, just completely uh like Adam Carolla, Nerdist, whatever numbers or whatever or whatnot, but those people have like actual Hollywood machine marketing behind them. Right. This right, is right, just right, right, right. necessarily word of mouth. I, you know, couple people heard it and just pass it on to friends and family. So I love that. That so I'm I'm so proud of that. Grassroots. There you go. That. I was thinking everything but grassroots. I had you don't you know what I'm not gonna even say what it was because I'm not about to yeah, embarrass get, myself what I was thinking. Let's get no. it let's let's get into the show. Okay. So uh we've talked about um toxicity within trying to be healthier, living this fifth life. We've also talked about uh, trying to basically bring yourself to a different level, see things differently. Um, So, but this episode, we will still keep doing that, bringing you a different perspective on how to see being being healthier. Um, But we're going to bring it back to basically the main, well, one of the main parts, the actual physicality of living a healthier life, um, which is working out. It is something the fit, that has the fitness to be done. aspect of being fit. Yes, it is something that has to be done. It does not have to be done to the script and technique of others. It will have to be modified to you to be effective for you. What happened and what worked for someone else may not be the same thing that works for you. Right. That is. I, I to- totally agree. Totally agree. In my experience, like actually being in the industry, is like. You can have somebody who can go to the gym once, you know, and look like they live there. And then you have other people who have to go to the gym consistently to maintain what they have. And it's just people don't want to hear this, but genetics have a big part in that. And um, just the, the body chemistry, just your particular body chemistry. Fitness is not a one size fits all thing. You got to kind of tweak it just like your nutrition. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, life necessarily isn't a one size fit all type thing. Yeah, so indeed. it's no. yeah, it's just crazy that people feel that you know fitness should do the same thing. Although, with that said, there are still rules to it, and I really have to, <laughs> I really have to stress this more than anything. There are still rules to it because this is actually dealing with you being a healthier person trying to exercise some well not necessarily demons but just basically getting out a lot of stress that is on your life for the most part that is why a lot of people work out and hold on wait wait hold on pause (laughs) 
I, I dig that wordplay. <laughs> Exercise <laughs> your demons. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, I, mean, okay. I mean, it is basically what it is, but <laughs> I cannot stand seeing people who are just like, okay, I just want to spot train. I just want to get rid of this. What can I do to get rid of this? And you tell them and they look at you like you just literally gave them the square root of Mars or some shit like that. And that's right. not even a real thing, but still, that's about the same thing. <laughs> I just, I just want to, I want to get toned, but I don't want to actually work out. Right. What? I just want to work on my stomach. Yeah. What, okay, so just work on your stomach. You want to know what's going to happen? You're going to look like you haven't done anything because it's going to go from head to toe. Right. As it's, well, why is it? Well, I can't do anything about this spare tire. Okay. Um, uh, okay. Um, along with you running eight marathons a day, what else are you doing? No, just the eight marathon. Okay. Um, okay. Have you ever heard of lifting weight? No, I don't want to do that. No, I'm not trying to look like a man. Or I don't want to get too beefy. This is for women. Beefy. All right. Beefy. So not to be mean or anything, but you think that, that, that juiciness around them. Okay. <laughs> Stop. Okay. Stop. I, I just but don't even, get it. It's even, just even, like they're like, even, I don't want to get too beefy. Even touching on that, though. I mean, that, ladies, lady, honestly, honestly, honestly. Y'all don't want to lift heavy weights, but you'll carry a purse with everything plus the kitchen sink in it. And you'll go to the gym and get those little, you know, three pound weights that little baby Shamar should be using. You know what I'm saying? And then talk about, I don't want to get beefy. Unless in you, you, you taking some kind of, you know, injecting some kind of chemical that is going to give you more testosterone that your body does not produce on its own, you're not going to be beefy. Your body chemistry, your body makeup does not do that unless you have a little added stuff in there. So if you want lean, sexy, toned muscles, y'all need to start pulling and pushing them tires. (laughs) And it's, it's just weird that it's gotten this misconception of that. And you do see those women out there who have gone to extremes to look very muscular, very toned. And you really have to understand that they are going for that look. They are what is called bodybuilders, power lifters, and um, physique fitness models. And they're going for a specific look. They have done things to actually modify themselves. to so look, stop, stop that. They have done things to make themselves look like that but honestly and this is so true if you do lift the weights and you have not done that your ass will look so much like a goddamn victoria's secret supermodel or right. a superhero right. than anything and that that's the guys on the shoot but i will have to say you will have to say a prayer and uh kind of have a funeral for your boobs because those probably gonna be the person you know <laughs> just it's just life yeah. oh man I'm, oh 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 as, oh Oh, uh, we got another guest. We got another guest. She just walked in. She just walked in. My lovely fiance. The Nancy. Lovely fiance. But she'll chime in for a minute. She just gave me a look. She'll chime in in a minute. <laughs> hey. <laughs> is that the traveling? Uh, is what is what was her? Traveling height. Travel. Hi, I should know this. Oh my god! I'm so embarrassed. Uh, I, I've seen travel it. Vista, tra- travel Vista. Vi- travel. It's one thing Vista. to see it, see it on Instagram every day. It's another thing to say it. See, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. High five. Thank you. Uh, take back that high five, y'all. Nope. <laughs> nope. It's out there. It's out there. But, we will get like, it. Is, Before the is, end of the show, is, we will get it. What is, right? What is your take on the whole, like, weightlifting thing? Yes, you. <laughs> well, weightlifting is something I hated my entire life. Um, even though I've played sports my entire life and we always had to do weightlifting programs, I thought it was boring. However, these past couple of years working out and Jay giving me these awesome workouts, um, I actually like it. I like weightlifting because I feel like it's a good, solid workout. You still can get some good cardio going. 
I personally am not worried about lifting weights, giving me some massive um, muscles. However, I do know girls who get massive muscles. However, they're lifting in order to get massive muscles because they want to be in bodybuilding bodybuilding contests. So they have a totally different regimen than everyday weightlifting. So I actually like it. Makes me feel good. It's not just cardio. It's a little bit of both. And isn't it nice when you got nice tone on your arms, your legs, your abs, and people are like, hey, (laughs) I'm just saying. (laughs) Very true. Very true. It is, I didn't say guys, I said people. Oh, okay. All right. Just make well, sure. well for, for women, we'll go back to that. I know for myself, it was very, very pleasing to raise my hand and wave it one time, and it didn't jiggle like a bat. <laughs> I was just saying. It was very, very freeing. I, I, I just was, I was expecting, you know, to be almost, you know, slapped in the face with it, and was just like, hey, look, look what I found. Hey, there. <laughs> How you doing? Is that a muscle? Yes. That's a muscle. Which was very, and it was so funny because I did it in front of my son who happened, even as a child, when I would do that, he would literally just slap my arm and it would just wiggle and he would just keep doing it. So so when I did it that one time, he's like, hey, that doesn't happen anymore. I was like, yeah. Uh Uh-huh. Stop it. Look at me now. (laughs) But it's, it's, it's so funny how women are seen or told that you're not feminine because of that. Even the women who still do that, they're still, uh, you know, who still, you know, do the whole bodybuilding and want to be, you know, very, they're still very feminine. They're still very dainty women. They just happen to be muscular. That's it. Well, I I think too, like coming from a, uh, a male, male point of view from, for some males, and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get a lot of flack for this, but fellas, I'm just telling the truth. If you be mad, be mad. Some of that comes from a pride issue. You know what I'm saying? Yes. You see a chick in the gym who's got more plates like <laughs> on, on the rack than you and she's killing it, you know, you get you get caught up in your feelings real quick. Yes. <laughs> yes. What did she say? Get over it. <laughs> but she's right. And Jay, you and I have actually encountered that a number of times where, you know, guys will come in and have... The, they'll grab what the seventy five pounders and just go one two. Uh, was this supposed to mean something? Right, right, right. Look, going to the gym, walking around, Instagramming, mm. talking to your buddies, and occasionally bench pressing some. Oh my God! Guess what I benched yesterday. I mean, I would rather be a girl, lift smart. So what? I'm beating guys out, but at least I'm making that progress versus just walking around acting like I am. That's mean, but I mean, you see it a lot in gyms. She said yeah. lift smart. Oh my God. Hold up. She said, whoa. That is a lift, new term. Lift smart. Lift I like that. smart. Hashtag lift, lift smart. Wait, wait. You can actually work out in an intelligent way and not hurt yourself or look stupid in the gym and get gains? <laughs> what? And I, I see all of these plans that are all over Instagram about, you know, shred this and, and do that. And some may be good, some I know are trash, but I just want people to be smart in actually reading these and understanding that if you think that this is going to happen to you in six weeks and there will be no effects, it, you're, you're really kidding yourself. These people, Let, the people who it has worked for, these are people who have done it before and are they, on some sort of right, critical right. regimen. That's what I was getting ready to say. I mean, muscle memory is, is very, very key. So it's very easy for um, an athlete, let's say, to not do anything for a few months, get back on a regular training regimen for, you know, six to eight weeks and get back to where they were because they train like that. They already been conditioned their body has been conditioned to do that but somebody who hasn't done anything for 10 plus years who's going to come off at the couch and says you know i think it's time to get my shit together you are not going to drop 50 pounds in six to eight weeks excuse me let me correct myself you are not going to drop 50 to 60 pounds in six to eight weeks in a healthy maintainable way and yes. on top of that, it's good to remember not to compare yourself to others because uh, the woman or male you could be comparing yourself to, like Jay said, could have played sports their whole life, 
So it's easier for them to jump back into things. And CrossFit is a place I see a lot of comparison because you go in mm -hmm. and you see people doing way more who are way smaller and look way less athletic than you do. However, they've been doing it two years and you just walked in off the street. Mm. That's a good point. Very good point. A lot of people, I think period, just on um, the whole bandwagon of being healthier, fitter or whatnot on Instagram and on social media, period. Uh, a lot of people tend to compare the, themselves to that person. It's okay to say, okay, it's a goal. I see this for myself. Don't right. say I want to be them. That's a totally different thing because you, you're never going to reach it. You are right. you. So, side note, speaking of social media, man, all y'all taking these pictures and videos in the gym. How do y'all do that when you're supposed to be working out? I'm just asking because I want to know because I can't get it done. I, um, I, um, I, speaking as somebody who actually does post their little video. Well, it, it, I mean, damn, I do have my little videos. I do post. So I'm just, just saying. I'm just saying, cause I, I'm, I'm not knocking it. I really want to know how y'all do this, cause I'm like, I can't. You got a hey. phone with a remote, you know? Yeah. You got a. You get the little I, selfie I need, thing. Yes. I, I need to. I need to hire a photographer to follow me around. Well, I'm not doing a bunch of stuff, and I because I still want to get my workout in. I'm only doing like maybe 30 seconds or so. I see these people. They've set it up and they've done it for a good little while. They're probably doing 30 seconds or so as well, but it looks like just from my point of view, it just looks like they just sat it up on a bench and just, you know, record and kept on and then edit. And, it. I, and going back to smart training, you know, working smart, training smart. If you are not being a paid professional, I'm pretty sure I've touched on this before because I see it all the time and it makes absolutely no sense to me why you would do this to yourself if there's like no need understanding training for activities of daily living but if you're in the gym jumping up on something that's like seven feet in the air and your day job is an accountant i really don't see how that's going to help you with your day-to-day -day living you said i'm just i'm just you know you need to train for what and who you are. Now, if you're an athlete, if you're a basketball player who needs to work on rebounding or getting up there, yes, that super, you know, superhero plyometric stuff, that's that's awesome. That's awesome. But, you know, a lot of people see stuff on the internet and be like, oh, that's cool. Yeah, I want to stand on a tractor tire and, you know, do a handstand and yeah, I, I don't get it. Well, honestly, the, those are just points at the person's progress in training. I don't really think it is to be taken the way that it seems on Instagram. It is just like, hey, this is something that I can do or I found that I can do as I'm doing my training. Other people say, okay, this is what the person does every time. I mean, sorry, other people see it as this is what the person does every single time they go to work out. No, that's not what happened. Just like, oh, shit, I found out I could do this while I was working out. You cannot, you know, take that and believe that's what you're going to be able to do. There's a reason why all of that shit looks cool. The dedication, the time, yeah. the effort <laughs> that was put yeah. into it is what you're really being so, you know, enamored by. Not the fact that, hey, he just, you know, backflipped into a wall, bounced off, hit a turkey, <laughs> killed a, a roach, <laughs> came back, knitted a sweater all before he hit the ground. no. You're actually looking at the whole picture. You just don't realize it. It's just because you're focusing in on this at this one point in time. But yeah, you, you're focusing on the glory, not the yes, story. Yes. Don't do that. Don't do that. Congratulate that person for that and keep going. Unless, unless you see someone who's trying to do this and they're only doing it for internet fame and they're going to hurt themselves. At that point, I need them to stop because why are you doing this if you want to do internet fame? No one's going to know what you look like when you go home. No one's going to know that you're on the on the bathroom floor crying. Or, or in or the ER. You broke, a, you broke a wrist trying to bench press 8,000 pounds. No one's, no one's going to know that unless it's on the internet. And the reason why that's on the internet, because you wanted to do something stupid to be Instagram famous. Please, World please. Store. <laughs> Motivation for being healthier should not be Instagram fame. That's it. Look how that, much I can squat. Which is great. Look, which look is how great. many plates on the rack. But don't let that be your motivation. 
don't let that be your motivation. Don't let that take away from all of the time and effort that you have put in thinking that if you haven't gotten 50 likes or a thousand likes, whatever on the, what you put on there, that you've lost something or that you're not worth anything. Please, please, please don't do that. Right. Workouts are just that. They are working out your exercise and your demons. <laughs> That's it. Wait, wait. Did you have to do it in the Southern Baptist <laughs> preacher's voice? <laughs> that is it. Don't see it as something that you have to do because I'm telling you, you're going to end up hating it for seeing it for not what it is, but what it can do for you. That's right. it. Right now, on, on you know, side note, back to what I said, I don't, I don't get. Now, if that's something you want to do, that's something you want to strive to do, you know. If you progress to that, yes, that's something totally different. That's something totally different. But you know, you just being in the gym and you seeing somebody like, oh, I want to jump on top of something that's like eight feet up in the air. Uh, why? Why? What is? What is? What is the whole point of that? Like. I want you to sit and tell me, like, what are you going to get out of this? And if you can honestly tell me, dude, you know, not that I want your life story, but, you know, um, I was told ever since I was little, I couldn't do shit. And I need to prove to myself that, you know, I could do this. And this is just like one of my goals. Yeah, we can work towards that. We're going to work towards that. But, you know, just to be like, oh, it looked cold. Uh, nah. Nah. And just remember that what we see on social media is the end result of many years of practice, training, falling on your face, <laughs> possibly broken bones, strained muscles. I mean, and think about this, this applies to other aspects of your life, whether it be business or relationships or whatever it is, because what you see is the end product. Not everybody is sharing the backstory mm-hmm. about it. So if you want the end product, ask the person that you want to, you know, you aspire to or you find inspiring for your, your fit life journey, ask them, like, what did it take for them to achieve that goal? And then you can decide if you're ready to commit to all the steps involved. Right. Yep. Yep. Make an informed right. decision. Don't, right. don't just go, right. oh, I'm going to go out there. and Because you see that a lot on social media or even just like YouTube. People see, oh, this person worked hard doing this got famous and now i want to try it too and this is not the age of jackass when you can just try all that shit and it work out for you and you come out unscathed no no be smart about this trying to be healthier and in a better place in your life means that you will be in a better mindset and i'm telling you once you try to sit down and think this out you know no that shit ain't for me i think i'm gonna just let me go do a couple push-ups and I'll be done. Right. <laughs> no. Right. Like I what what used to be um like my thing was uh the, the calisthenics. Like I'm pretty sure a lot of people have heard of Bar Stars. Amazing, amazing group of dudes. There's the guys up in New York. They've expanded now all over, got on their own training and DVDs on on app and everything. Real awesome group of individuals. Um but you know, it was it was they did the, the the fitness park workouts where you would be doing dips, you know, and these are the dudes you would see like doing the crazy stuff on the pull up bar. Like you do a pull up and then you do a muscle up, then you like jump on top of the bar, do a back flip back onto the bar and like switch you know, and you're like, Wow, that shit is really cool. But the amount of training and technique that like goes into that you know is is like crazy is insanely crazy because it's not just like upper body strength it's it's core strength it's leg strength it's it's actually a total body workout you're just seeing the end result of all these things working together in a group of individuals who have mastered this to this level where they can make it look simple you know Cause I, I used to love to do like the pull ups upside down. I thought that was like really like cool and cool party trick. Hey, look what I can do! I can do pull ups upside down. Look at me. <laughs> What's funny is going into this. This is something that is a thankless journey. It just is. It is something you do for you, for your pride, your well being, your mental clarity. So trying to put 
oh, you know, the admiration and everything that you see these people get on, you know, social media for it (laughs) into that mix is so, so, so toxic for trying to get to the place where you want to be. Right. Initially see it for what it is. Just you against the beast. It's kind of like a David and Goliath type thing because this is not an easy journey. It's not an easy thing. You're going to have ups and downs and you need to be able to recognize that and understand that going in. And some mornings you will hate it. Yes. You will hate it. I love to say um, in our lives, it's, it's, we're all on this, this river. This river is either going to flow towards our goals or away from it. The decisions we make are going to flow towards that end result or away from it. And at the end of the day, you have to be cool with that decision. Like today, I know my end result, my end goal is like to be healthier, whatever healthier is for you. May that be like losing fat because I don't like the term losing weight because I think that's stupid, but that's for another show. But I want to lose fat. I want to be leaner. You know, honestly, looking at your day to day, like everything you did, did every decision you make move you closer to that goal or move you away? And if it moved you away, are you honestly going to be okay with that? And if it's like, you know what, today was a hard day. Fuck it, I'm going to take it and deal. You did good. Not every day is going to be like sunshine and, and rainbows, man. Yeah. Like, yeah. you're going to have some storms. I mean, mm-hmm. some storms that are going to, like, knock you on your behind. And those and those days are the ones where you're going to see the progress in a different way. And it's going to be the days that you say, this is what I want to do. It's going to be the actual day that you make the decision to forge ahead. Yep. Or to give up. Those are the days that you will make the decision, not the days when you're feeling the best. Those are the days where you know that this is for you. And two, sometimes those days, like, you can't be hard on yourself. You can't be hard on yourself. Some days, your best is just getting up and getting out of bed, Mm -hmm. to be honest. And some people want to, like, oh, well, I didn't do X, Y, and Z today. Look, man, you got up. You got up. Whatever's going on, like your best is your best. Mm. Now you have to know what your best is. And I think that's an important thing too. You just can't be like, well, I didn't feel like it today. You know, yeah. like my, my best friend, my best friend, his mother just passed away. One of the strongest individuals I know, like his mom, very young age, in my opinion. And like, he had to take care of everything on his own. Like, I can't even imagine like what he went through, you know, um, you know, other people who go through it, but until you fully been there, yeah. You fully go, go there. You can't really ever compare. Mm -hmm. And, you know, some days the best, you know, only thing he could do one day was just call me. He was like, I just need to talk. He was like, I can't do anything else. I just need to talk. And that was the best he could do. So this is a journey, people. It's, 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 you're going to have your ups, your downs, your highs, your lows, your successes, your, your losses, your victories, your gains. There's going to be all of this, man. There's no straight line to this. There's no A to B to C to D. The alphabet looks like a bunch of Scrabble letters. You know what? You know what? There actually is, is an A, B, C, D to it. It just starts with you. The rest of it comes with the, the journey. Thinking that it's going to look like a straight map. Yeah, it's it. You got You got to think outside the box. There is no spoon. You know what I'm saying? There is no spoon. Oh, you 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 killing it today. You killing it. No, I can't even. I, so, okay. So we gave homework last week, uh, last episode. I'm going to give homework again. I can't say that there is no pull, no, you know, just kind of like, uh, I want it, uh, you know, to the fame of the people that are on Instagram. But I want you to see it like this. That little, just like what Jay was saying, that little achievement that you made, if you just got got up out of bed, even though you know that you're going through some tough stuff, that's an achievement. That's the admiration. See it as that. Take the little stuff that you're doing on your journey and make that the admiration post that 
I don't give a damn if nobody actually likes it. Hell, send it to me. I'll like it. Right? That will be your admiration. You want to know why? Because you're trying. That's enough. I don't give a damn how many upside down pull-ups you can do, Jay. That <laughs> I can't do nothing now. <laughs> <laughs> upside down pull-ups, handstands, all of that. That what you did is enough for you. That is a great achievement. Don't right. It will hell, even if it's a else. regular pull up, even if it's a regular push up. Hell, even if it's a sit up with perfect form. You know how many people I see that just oh, you know, never mind. yeah, yeah. That's that's it, yeah. The, not enough. We'll we'll say that not not enough. Not a, okay. Anyways, that's that's the homework. The admiration. I want you either to write it down. Or I want you to post it and you can send it to me at say what radio on Instagram, Twitter, whatever. I will like it. Just post it. I don't want to. Okay. Let me, let me, let me slight, slight the scope really quick. I'm going to want to see. I made a ham sandwich. I don't want to see. I picked up a shoe. <laughs> I want something where you're actually trying. <laughs> don't send me bullshit. Cause I will call you on it. I made a ham sandwich. Yeah. Yeah. I wrote a letter. Well, hey, actually, no, you did uh-uh. wrote a, if you wrote a letter in this day and age, that is something different. Okay. I'll say that. Okay. Touche. Touche. Yeah. I want to, I, uh, I'd like to call him a good friend. He, he was doing videos every morning and he set a goal to like do a video, uh, for every day this year. Like mm-hmm. life happens and you know, it got to the point where he was going through some stuff. So I just hit him up, you know, just to say, man, what's up? What happened to the videos? Because, you know, I'd, I'd love to see that every morning. And it's something that he said that really pulled at me, like, at the end of this current video. Um, a lot of people look for motivation and inspiration. Um, and in my opinion, that's that's something you can't find in anybody else. But... At his, his end of his video, what he said that really, really touched me was, I'm here to encourage you. Mm. And I was like, wow. Wow. Because, yes, you can you hear that people are motivational speakers and, you know, people say that they're here to inspire. But really, that stuff, you got to find on your own. But what yes. we can be for you, each other, and ourselves is that source of encouragement. Face it together. And I just like took that and was like, whoa, all right, I'm ready to kill today. And you'd be surprised and looking at how the little stuff just leads you to the big stuff in such the, I mean, the most subtle way. And you get the aha of your life with like Mike Tyson across the chin. It's whoa, what just happened there? It is, it is so amazing. And that's one of the reasons why I started doing, you know, the other podcast. I just wanted to kind of just brighten people's lives with goofiness. Um, My life changed. If if you haven't heard it, you got to check that out. Yes. yes. So my life changed and I wanted to expound upon it. So I started this podcast and, you know, mainly for the stuff that I do on Instagram, social media in general is just to, you know, encourage you to give you a positive outlook give you a little bit of laughter or whatnot just kind of just still just being me i'm not looking to necessarily be instagram famous and make a bunch of money if i end up doing that during it during the process hey that's all well and good but i'm doing this just because this is me i want to give to the people the knowledge that i have or could actually help others along the way i wish someone had actually given me all of this when i was doing you know what i was doing years ago which is why i do what i do now we've said this many many times yes it's it's the fit life but fit does not does not just mean fitness man we're here for like all aspects fit physically fit mentally fit socially fit emotionally that's what fit means you need somebody in your corner to help you face it together in all aspects yes where you right. can do this on your own like the, the, the motivation has to come for you but it's not going to always be where you do this on your own you make the decision but it's nothing wrong with having someone light that ember that fire within you there's nothing wrong with that it's there it's just you know let me blow on that and you, you now the fire is bloom and we can't put it out 
Not what always that, sunshine, that? rainbows, and unicorn poop. What? what huh? What, okay. Unicorns poop rainbows. Come on, everybody knows this. Okay. The sad part about it is there was. Now you're making me go into this. So there was a, a YouTube uh, campaign. Well, it was like a viral internet campaign for an item called the Squatty Potty. <laughs> and basically, it, it is what it sounds like. A pot. <laughs> uh, no, not a pot, but a uh, a little stool that was supposed to help you in bowel movements because apparently the way we do it now isn't it's the wrong. most efficient <laughs> for humans. So, you, you use this, it's easier on, you know, pushing strength and you know the whole pressure on the insides of your body and just in general you gotta watch the video it's awesome. and the video was of a unicorn using this and he pooped out rainbow ice cream problem is <laughs> when they gave when the able you have to do something with the rainbow ice cream right so the guy gives it to children so you're watching these kids eat this and, and you're like <laughs> I wanna laugh but I don't <laughs> You just gonna eat. You just gonna eat that. It's oh, and he's smiling, not eating it. Every time somebody tried to give it, he, no, but he gives it to the children. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, okay. You know what? Um, I actually awesome. wanted to talk about something else, but that's gonna be on my mind for the rest of the day. Now. You're, you're welcome. <sighs> Oh my I, god. Oh, I, the, I'm going to send um, you at like an hour from now. I'm going to send you one of the unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> the heck, even better, the bitmoji of, of the unicorn pooing out rainbows. Oh my god. Actually, coming your way in a second. <laughs> um, let me just say this and we'll end the show. I want to say congrats to all the competitors and all of the people who were at the uh, Arnold Festival. Um, this weekend, I saw a lot of those uh, posts and things of people out there. One of the people that I follow on um, Instagram, who I just completely love, the pink, uh, the only pink Hulk. She was there. She actually got to meet uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. And there was a, another young man. I cannot remember his name. Dude, bench pressed a thousand. No, I'm sorry, not bench pressed, but squatted a thousand pounds. That's crazy. It's like, are you crazy? And there's another guy who deadlifted 865 pounds without straps or sleeves i was like oh my god but guaranteed the training he had to do to condition his body to get there oh yeah he's documented all of that on instagram and things and you see some of the times where he's failed and went back and came to do it and so many people on on instagram i see do that and i i follow them because of that because they're actually real in wanting to document their progress um there's another young lady uh the girl who lists who's uh her name is josie um there is i forgot the crap there's a few people but it's just like none of their names are coming in my head right now i can see their faces but i I just can't see any of this stuff but yeah he's one of those people who has done that and just just wanted to give a big shout out to all those people that was a great it looks like everyone had a great time maybe one day we can do that do the show from there we'll probably be old and decrepit but hey never know it's a plan. It's a dream. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for tuning in. We uh, can cannot say how much we appreciate everyone tuning in every time we upload an episode. We want to do this. Like I said, it's, it's, the hope is to do it monthly. If it, anything changes, hey, we'll let you guys know. But the biggest compliment you can always give us is to like, share, and subscribe this show. Uh, you can subscribe on Google Play. We are on uh, as a, uh, iTunes, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, all of that. So if you uh, cannot, <laughs> if you cannot find it, hell, it's even on YouTube, people. Even if you Google cannot me find it, yes. famous. <laughs> it is there. We are out there. We are not going anywhere. Thank no, you for tuning nothing. in. Catch us next time. Same bat time. Hopefully, same bat channel. <laughs> You are listening to The Fit Life with Jay and Justice. Say what?